Hi. All right. Well, we're back again. Um, okay, you guys might have seen this before. This pad here, which gives all the information around the house, what's going on, how the front door's locked, the door sensor. Uh, people, you know, if there's activations in the in the house, you'll see uh, that if there's anyone walking around the house, what lights are on. Basically, all this information. Well, what's going to happen here? Got a, just got a couple of pads, which are charging right now. They're only smaller pads, and I had to get this, which is the, <clears throat> like a cover. Uh, I'm not going to use this because what's going to happen? Because they're smaller pads, I had to actually buy these online. And what's going to happen? This is a couple of screws that's going to go in here. Obviously, put this in the pad. And say in the lounge room here. I'm going to put one on the wall, so there's going to be a pad on that wall, and then a second one we put over here in the bedroom, probably above the lamp here. So I'm going to need a couple of screws, I think this will work, I'm not real sure, I hope so. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that way within the lounge room or the bedroom, obviously plus the kitchen, um, I'll be able to see what's going on, plus if I wanted to turn the light on uh, or off, rather than talking to Google, just do that with the touch of the pad because uh, sometimes you know it's like if you guys out there anyone has got Google Home sometimes the thing doesn't like to listen to you and it gets frustrating sometimes so I just hit a pad hit a hit the pad um, do have other things like that like in here in the bedroom I've got this here which is a Philips Hue button activation thing now if I hit this middle button here right the lights come on around the TV TV just fired up, PC fires up, basically, so basically what in the bedroom, for. in bed, watching TV, or on the internet, or gaming, or what have you. So yeah, just to uh, turn it off, you see the button again, and what that'll do, that'll actually shut everything down, so that's that. Okay, and if we go back into the lounge room, have one very similar here on the wall. It's actually four buttons, it's hard to see, but it's actually four buttons. Um, honestly, from memory, I can't remember what they did, but I'll hit one and we'll see what that does. I'm waiting to see what it did. I can't remember what I programmed it to at all. So maybe it was for nothing, maybe it was for another part of the house. Anyway, um, hang on, things are starting to happen. All right, so that's what they, they do, but uh, Rather than just having these pads like that, I'd rather have the, the touch pads or, they're not iPads, they're just sort of cheaper version pads, because um, <clears throat> I couldn't justify paying a lot of money uh, for I, you know, iPads or um, Galax uh, Galaxy, uh, you know, Android pads or anything like that that can be six, seven hundred dollars. These things were about 180 bucks each, so just did that. Unfortunately, I couldn't buy the the backing pads I couldn't look I was even trying this here right a picture frame now I'm going to use it for something I was thinking about putting the, the pad in there but unfortunately it won't sit in there properly and then up falling out wouldn't matter how I secured it in there so these pads were the only way to go about doing it um, <clears throat> we have a look here all right, that's all these pads are now the pad will just sit in there tightly. I'll obviously that flat bit I'll have to get off and with that program, ah uh, not there, it'll just sit up on the wall there like that. I'll put it in there somehow. All right well here's the first one that I'll show you. It's been installed in here in the bedroom. It's up there on the wall. It tells me everything I need to know. I'll zoom in I'll give you a bit of a look but it tells me all I need to know. This pad controls what goes on in the bedroom. All right, I'm not sure how well you can actually see here, but uh, the way this has been set up, it gives you the time, it is 9.47. The one next to it, the two tabs next to it, actually control the ceiling fan. The ceiling fan is a Google ceiling fan. So if I asked, I'm not going to, if I asked Google to turn on the ceiling fan <clears throat> at whatever speed, let's say, you know, set it to low, medium or high, it'll start spinning. It'll also turn the light on if I request it to. The 
current temperature in this room, it's only 17 degrees, it's a cold day. Um, then you got like the lamp's main light. I mean, if I just tap the main light, the main light uh, will turn on. And it's as bright as this, this new ceiling fan. It's, it's just, it's so bright. There's a slight delay in this. So I'll just, uh, I'll tap it off and the light should turn off. It's a slight delay using this pad. Anyway, I also got the TV lights, so the lights will turn on around the TV. Um, this down here is the security camera at the front door. So if anyone comes near the front of the house, up near the front door, it's a live stream. So I'll see it happening there. Uh, what else we got? It tells me that the entrance, the front door is locked. Um, what's going on in the hallway? The bedroom sensor, the bedroom sensor is activated. Now during the day it's not. What the sensor does, it actually uh, will have the lights on a fade. Um, you know, not, not very bright uh, at, at night or you just tell it to crank it up. Um, carbon monoxide. Have no carbon monoxide. And right next to it is the weather. Now when I install this on the wall, uh, those pads that I bought, I just got a couple of sinkers, put, drilled a couple of holes, put the sinkers in the wall, put the screws in, and it just clipped on. Let's get on the one in the lounge room. All right, we're in the lounge room. This got installed up here. If I, I'll actually pop this off, and I'll just show you how simple it was what I did to put it on. All right, as you can see here, that's all I did. Just a couple of, couple of screws in the sinkers, put the pad that you normally carry one of these things around on, and that's it, it's fastened to the wall. Simple as that. All right, so I'll just pop it back on. That's it, simple as that. Right now, within uh, here, the time, 9.52, it's 18 degrees, so let's jump a degree higher in the lounge room. Um, here is, this is different temperatures. This is not for the ceiling fan. This is for the reverse cycle air conditioner up there on the wall. So basically I can hit cooling or heating if I wanted to tap it rather than talking to, to Google. TV lights, the lamp, lamp which is over there. Couch lights, so basically I can turn the couch lights uh, on or off. I know for example, see, uh, Right, the couch lights have turned on, but it's rather bright in here, so I'll try um, the lamp instead. You can see there the lamp turned on. Now, mind you, this is if you don't want to talk, obviously, to, to Google. It's just all touched by the, the pad here. So the couch lights just went off, and then the lamps, I'm just noticing now, the lamp's only set to 30%, not 100%. What's like that? I can say, hey Google. Hey Google. Turn off the lamp. So one way or another. So yeah, at the moment the uh, lamp room sensor's on because it's noticing me moving around. Um, the entrance is locked. No carbon monoxide. No smoke. The temperature for the next three days and right there, once again, is the security camera out the front. Now, I don't know, all this might seem a little bit uh, overkill to have in the house with the touch pads and these pads and my pad, your pad, whatever. Uh, it's all fun stuff though, it's all fun. I, I love the idea of having the pads on the wall. Now, these aren't gonna stay like this. Over the weekend, gonna go to uh, the local hardware store. Just gonna get some cheap MDF wood. I've got the tools out the back. We're gonna maybe do a little pattern within it and I'm gonna frame around these. So these are gonna look awesome with a bit of a, just a bit of a frame around it, just totally for decoration reasons. Well, that's it for these uh, Novova, Lenovo, whatever they are, pads. Um, they weren't very expensive, but the whole point was just to run this program, of which the name of the program uh, alludes me. But either way, that's all, that's all it's for, so you can see what's going on. If I double tap on, this, the um, camera outside, the camera outside will come up and I'll, I'll be able to see the security um, camera at the front in the full screen. So if anyone's out there, I can see.
So you just brought you a little bit closer for that main security camera. The other security cameras I've got around the house, all I'm going to do is swipe, swipe, and I can see, because it's not a very big screen, so I can see what the other cameras are doing, or you double tap it again, and then all the little, little um, cameras come up. But that's the main one I always want to keep an eye on, in case anyone's at the front door, and there might be not good intentions, possibly. button there you push and it goes right back to everything else to operate within the lounge room. Alright guys, catch you on the next one. That's it for this.